Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our biology lesson form one. And uh, we are looking at uh, the cell structures and their function. Uh, during the last lesson, uh, we discussed the structure of the cell membrane, the cell wall, and the cytoplasm. We also uh, discussed their functions, and today we shall continue with the same, whereby we shall look at uh, other organelles that are found within the cell, and of course, we shall look at their functions as well. So the next organelle that I want us to look at is the mitochondria. Mitochondria is plural. When there are many, when it is one, it's called mitochondrion. Mitochondrion is the singular. So when it is one, it is a mitochondrion. When there are many, they are referred to as the mitochondria. It is important, it is important to note that uh, because you can be penalized if a question is asked in singular and then you answer it in plural. So you're supposed to answer a question that is asked in singular, answer it in singular, and one that is asked in plural, answer it in plural. Now, uh, I would want us to have a diagram of a mitochondrion. So a mitochondrion uh, looks like that. It's sausage shaped. It has a double membrane. So there is the outer membrane. And then there is the inner membrane. And this inner membrane is folded into structures uh, known as cristae. These foldings. They are referred to as Christe. Then inside, there is a fluid uh, that we refer to as the matrix. And we shall look at the functions of each one of them. So this is a mitochondrion. So I've, as I've said, when it is one, it's called mitochondrion. When there are many, they are referred to as the mitochondria. Now, so a mitochondrion, as we can see from the diagram, is a sausage shaped organelle. Consisting of a double membrane. Consisting of a double uh, membrane. The inner membrane, as you can see from the diagram, is folded. into projections called Christe or Christe. When it is one, it's called a Christa. And uh, <coughs> uh, the Christe provides a large surface area, provide a large surface area for the attachment
of respiratory enzymes. So, the Christie, then the matrix. is a fluid medium in which respiratory activities take place. So basically that is a description of the structure of a mitochondrion. Let's look at its function. Its function we have mentioned as we are discussing the other parts. Uh, basically the mitochondrion is the site for respiration. So the function is that uh, the mitochondrion it is the site for respiration. So respiration occurs within the mitochondrion. It's also good to note that uh, we have some cell, we have some cells that have more mitochondria than others. Some cells have numerous mitochondria, and that is because of the work that they do. If, for example, a cell is very active, it needs a lot of energy. And that energy can only come from the mitochondrion, which is the site for respiration, site for energy production. In fact, we call the mitochondrion the cell powerhouse. The cell powerhouse is the where uh, the power is generated from within the cell. So you can say that uh, uh, some cells in living organisms contain numerous mitochondria numerous mitochondria and these include among the cells that have numerous mitochondria we have the muscle cells sperm cells, kidney cells, and ETC, and that is because those particular cells, even the nerve cells, and that is because those particular cells, uh, they require a lot of energy. They require a lot of energy because uh, of, their, of their high level of activity. Uh, the next organelle that we are going to discuss are the Golgi apparatus or the Golgi bodies. And uh, according to their structure, uh, these ones are stacks of membranes. The Golgi apparatus are stacks of membrane bound organelles. So they look like this. So there are stacks of membrane packed on top of each other. Placed on top of each other. It's also important to understand their functions. So the fact that they are membranes and they are elongated tells us that they are for transportation. So they transport a number of things. 
Uh, number one, uh, they transport synthesized proteins and carbohydrates they transport synthesized enzymes they are also responsible for packaging and transport of glycoproteins and also the formation of lysosomes. So all those are functions of the Gogi apparatus. So they have many functions or they have several functions. Next, we discuss endoplasmic reticulum and these ones are tubular and interconnected tubular and interconnected membranes with a cisterny or with a hollow part inside. So just to have a, a view of how they look like. So they have the hollow part that is known as the cistern. They have the cistern. Eh? So this is an example of a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So the function So they are also for transport, that's why they are tubular, they are tube-like. So smooth endoplasmic reticulum transport lipids, that is fats and oils. On the other hand, we have the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the only difference is that rough ones contain some structures that we refer to as the ribosomes. So, so the rough one is more or less similar. except that it has some granules on the surface. So those granules are what we are referring to as the ribosomes. And this is what you are calling the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So it's called rough because it contains 
the ribosomes. It contains the ribosomes that make it have a rough surface. Ribosomes are granules. And these granules, we'll see what they are for just in a minute. So, first of all, uh, the function of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic uh, reticulum transport proteins. They transport proteins. And of course, those proteins come from the ribosomes. The proteins come from the ribosomes. Uh, so finally, we talk about the ribosomes. And these ones are granules on the surface of rough endoplasmic reticulum. The function, they are sites for protein So they are the sites in which proteins are synthesized. So basically, uh, we've uh, uh, discussed uh, the mitochondria, the Golgi apparatus, the endoplasmic reticulum, and the ribosomes, and of course their, their functions. So just to clarify something here, the rough endoplasmic reticulum are called rough because on their surface, they have the ribosomes, which are some granules that act as the site for protein synthesis. And that is why the rough endoplasmic reticulum, its work is to transport the proteins, the proteins that have been synthesized by the ribosomes. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum lacks the ribosomes, has no ribosomes. So it is smooth on its surface. So its work is to transport lipids. And lipids are fats and oils. So our assignment for today. So the first question, name three cells that have numerous mitochondria. We have mentioned them. Number two. State four functions of Gogi apparatus. So we'll stop there for today. Until next time, goodbye.